Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of my Shadowgate 64 trial of the 4 towers walkthrough slash playthrough uh, thing. We're about to head on to uh, the top here where uh, we just had a really good discussion with uh, Lakmir. Lakmir the Sorcerer. And we have now a interesting room right here. I played a little bit of it because um, I was really wanting to see... Because um, I was going to start playing it and see what was in the... Uh, what was in the uh, you know the um, the wide the wide area? Because I was thinking that as soon as we get up there, that's when we would be shown uh, the two areas. But I guess not. Uh, so I do know a little bit about what's going on right now. Anyways, <clears throat> you see an ancient book. Its pages and bindings nearly falling apart with age. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna hit yes. But you said against disturbing it since it may fall apart at any moment. All right. So here's that symbol that was on the door that we couldn't open you see the glow of sunlight shall you look outside yes I do will all right so it looks like it's a graveyard type area <clears throat> you yearn to leave this dead tower but you are too big for the window oddly enough because Dell is tiny compared to other people me. anyways Okay, so we have a few books to read, uh, and I keep running into uh, the table, of course. I wanted to show this as well. I don't know what this does yet, but when you get close to it, it looks like a fox, a gray fox. And all it does is its head moves, and that's about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so it just moves back and forth. I'm not really sure what it does yet. Uh, every time I, I moved it, <clears throat> I didn't really worry about it. How strange, this book is devoid of any words. Yes, I will take the blank book. I was thinking either A, this is going to... You decide that one cannot have enough wordless wordless books. Either you are going to be writing in it somehow, for some reason. Or maybe uh, somebody didn't like learning and uh, they sorcerize all the words out or something. I'm not sure. That was a nice crack. The book reads, The Final Battle. Will you take the book? Yes, I will. And this is where it's kind of like uh, Skyrim, where you know you have books you can read and all that. Kind of kind of really cool. You took the book, anticipating its exciting contents. And before I do read it, I'll go ahead and get the other books as well. <coughs> this book is devoid of any writing. Its pages are blank. Yes, I will. Uh, I'm going to take it just, you know, just for whatever. Um... Just in case, you decide that you can always use an extra pound to lug around. My only worry is that uh, we run out of room, even though there, it's in its own category, which is pretty cool. Okay. Right, so we have one more book to get uh, in this room, and this room is uh, primarily empty. I'm not really sure what else, like, I know it's a library, but I'm, 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 I wonder what else is here. Um, like, what, what does that fox do other than just look at you? You brush the dust away and read the title of Riding Dragons. That sounds interesting. Yes, it will take the dusty tomb. Alright. Alright, guys, so let's go right there. I had to clear my throat. My throat has been bothering me the past two videos now. Alright, so we have one book there. Uh, what is this? It looks like a map, maybe. You found Watchmen's Memo. Okay. Yes, I will. But uh, the majority of this part is probably going to be just me reading books and all that. Uh, just for, you know, some backstory. You fold that paper, of course, and put it in your pocket. Um, figured it'd be pretty cool to show some backstory as well. Um, I'm not going to be the type that, you know, skips everything and uh, doesn't show what, you know, some, like, the minor things. I, I, I like to show everything in every game that I do. Just gives it more, uh, more meaning, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. You read the words of the Milk's cover. Memorandum. Yes, I will. So it's probably somebody's, uh, you should, if you should open it. Ah, oh, okay. Because of how many books we have and all that. Alright, so I'm, I'm getting a little bit better at, uh, moving around with my, uh, you know, like, direction-wise and all that. Looking around. This book is entitled, An Artifacts of Power. Yes, I will. And it does take a learning curve, I guess, to, to move around and look like you're not, you know, like, new to games and all that. 
because uh, it's uh, it can get quite interesting. All right, so we can't uh, look up there and expect us to uh, to look through that window because we're not tall enough. All right, so obviously that one right there too. Wait, where's that book at? Didn't I see a book on the on the floor or something? Where's that at? Did I even did I take it already? I must have. Okay. All right. So we have this last blue blue one right here. The name of the book is Laws of Magic. Yes, I will. Books like this are very interesting. You think to yourself as you take it. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we have every book in this little bit. Uh, I guess it's a library. I'm not really sure what else to really call it. A study. Maybe. Um, so before we go up there, I'll go ahead and... No! Okay, I'll just go up there. Okay, so here we have three rooms right right here. I'll go, I'll go into the corner and I'll read the books. Alright, guys. So, I will read uh, the journal I'm pretty sure I read already. So let's watch... Or let's uh, read the Watchman's Memo first. Someone has smuggled dangerous materials into the dormitory on the fourth floor. Please report any information on the to this of this to the watchman's room. Okay. Uh, memorandum of course uh, the blank book's right there. Another blank book right there. I wonder if the colors mean anything, like if that makes sense to anybody. Of uh, writing dragons. Like this is really cool. And this is of course why I was talking about how, you know, D and D is kind of you know, really similar in a sense. Uh, the victory is won, but the war is not over. Our greatest foe has been vanquished, but his minions still survive, ready to finish their evil master's bids, plans. And of course, we learned about who this was in the beginning, I'm pretty sure. Brave young Jair, destined to confront the evil one, has triumphed, tri oh my god, has triumphed, but at what cost? Exhausted after his final confrontation against the warlock, lord's most powerful creation, the behemoth, behemoth, Young Jair must take the mantle of hero and lead this ragtag group of defenders against the deadliest of the warlocks, uh, warlock lords' remaining army. With the help of the e oh, wizard Lakmir, almost said evil wizard Lakmir, young Jair awaits the final battle with the staff of ages at his side. The land of Kal, Kal Torlan moans and cries out against the bloodshed that it that it has seen. Soon it shall see victory, and the land shall once again know peace. <clears throat> My guess thing is, and since obviously we could tell that Lakmir is dead, obviously because I don't know if it's a ghost, maybe it's just like a uh, you know he's summoned his body over there or something. I'm not really sure. And of course, there is the uh, there's Jair and his what looks to be long hair, uh, blank books. Somebody doesn't like to read in this castle. And who is wiser, the man or the dragon? Men fear, dragons do not. As wise as a super, oh my gosh, serpent. As wise as a serpent, dragons discern if the rider is afraid. I tell you this, no coward has ever ridden one. Dragons respect only the brave. It is unwise to mock your great dragon and to use them in an unworthy way is folly. Truly, there is no beast alive that is more gracious, gracious with man. So they can be controlled, you say? Nay, I say, never. Their ways are higher than ours. Their thoughts are deeper than our thoughts. There are few things in this life to have more faith in than a dragon. Than the dragon. That's interesting. It happened moments before the keeper disappeared. The official stared wide out, wide-eyed at the marvelous crystal. What is it? He mouthed. The dragon keeper simply recited, "The man's eye sees a tiny flame. The dragon's eye, consuming fire. The man's eye had no one to blame." The dragon's eye creates the pyre. The official thought about these words. Could the eye turn even the faintest of lights into a reflective blaze? And I like the uh, the cover the like the uh, on the cartridge the cover art is the eye I guess he's, that he's talking about. Surely the eye of the dragon must be extremely dangerous. <clears throat> it was, after all, stored deep within the this depository. Unfortunately, the riddle did not answer his question. What exactly is the eye of the dragon? I know the other tiger is. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Alright. I remain concerned that my task is the most difficult of all my brethren. 
I have been given the Pixie Flute, a powerful item created with life magic. Its magic is rumored to be powerful, yet I cannot unlock it. The other acolytes have unlocked the magics of their devices. I remain stumped. I am convinced that there is a secret behind the use of this device. My teachers have instructed us in the, four, in the ways of the four orders, but I failed to, to discern that means to uh, unlock the, the means to unlock the flute's power. English is hard. But what is worse about my situation is that I have tried so hard and for so long to make the flute's magic manifest that its condition has worsened. I'm afraid that if I continue, it will be broken forever. That's not what I said, but okay. I even fear it won't work properly. It won't work properly. Then I shall have truly failed. Interesting. Artifacts of power. I wonder if like more artifacts and all that. So law is a magic. This book shall attempt to explain some of the simple principles behind the laws of magic. The first and most important precept is, is that what, precept is that what is it? Is that although there are many types of magic, all laws apply universally. In this book, we shall look at the magics of the three of three of the four orders. This book shall discuss the practice, strengths, and the differences of chaos, order, and life. Death shall be omitted from this discussion because of the recent forbidding of its usage. Okay, so I guess um, the four towers are actually chaos, order, life, and death, I'm guessing. Pretty cool. If that's, you know, even, uh, well, no. He said that that was the castle, that was the uh, the tower of Black Mirror or whatever. I'm pretty sure. Or he said castle of Black Mirror. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. A warning needs to be inserted that the magic of death irreversibly taints the soul. Having said that, let's look at the magic in general. There are many ways to conjure magic. Each of the orders have a definitive way to enact its magic. But remember that though the different each has similar results. I'm gonna add words in like into this book that don't even like. So I'll just let you know. Order uses the precise enact. Oh my god, enunciation of the written word learned from spell books. Life employs expansive gestures hand down by the word, by word of mouth from master to pupil. Okay, that's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Chaos uses a combination of violent gestures and guttural words cold from all the orders. Okay, so Chaos just curses and like says, Magic! Appear! And then it disappears. Death uses arcane rituals and force of ma mind. This is only mentioned to demonstrate the differences in conjuring. Arcane rituals. Okay, so it's pretty much like, like they, uh, like they do the, um, the sacrifices and all that. They sacrifice the squirrel for humanity. No more shall be said on death. The following section looks at some of the more common areas of magic amongst the orders. How long is this? The creation of magical artifacts holds many common attributes. Uh, typically, uh, an artifact is bestowed with its magical property, so that's all it can use. So that's all it can use. This sometimes proves problematic because many novices can too easily manipulate too powerful a magic item. That probably be me, most likely. So the function of personalize personalizing an artifact came into being. This sometimes included a keyword or phrase to activate the device. But increasingly, the orders would include a secret mechanism in each of their magics. For example, the legendary Staff of Aegis, which is a pretty sure what Jair had, yeah, he talks about it right there, a product of order, was personalized for only Lord Jair's use. Another device that allows the manipulation of order artifacts is the use of the key ring. Like the ring of the kingdom that many to, uh, to, that many attempt to win through the trials. Oh my god. The Order of Life typically employs the use of pure-hearted individuals as a means to unlock its power or other devices like sunlight. However, it's enacted a magical artifact. Right, in, enacted yet? Yeah. A magical artifact must never be misused, or the user will suffer dire consequences. They can lose a foot, or worse. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. This is—I think this is where I stopped right here. So I'm pretty sure we're taking the uh, the narrow path because the white path is uh, the narrow path is uh, is one we want. Like I said, I kind of wanted to uh, to go into the to the white path. Just oh, here we go. What are you? I want the statue.
Okay. Um, my guessing is... Obviously, I meant to put these down, but uh, in what order do they come in? That is the question. Another question is, do I want to do this yet? Because, uh, is it going to give me an item, or is it going to give me the passageway to somewhere else? Well, it didn't look like I could pick up the man. So, my guessing is, um... You put the fairy sculpture in place. Uh, the statues are lined up, but nothing much appears. Happens. Oh my god. Okay, so it looks like I'm about to put the fairy one on first. So, I, I, I don't know. I kind of... I kind of like this, I guess. You know, I it was a really good idea. But I think they should have given us the man one as well. Because that would have made it... You know, that would have made it more of a... Of a puzzle, in my opinion. Put the fairy sculpture over there. I just wonder if like any other rooms will actually tell you what to do. Because <laughs> it looks like this is about to you know, open up or whatever. It's a passageway, am I guessing? Yep, I knew it. Interesting puzzle, though. Even though it wasn't really all that hard. What should have happened was, like, I think it would have been cooler if, let's say, uh, it would have, um, it would have given you all three statues in the, uh, in the, in the, in the previous tower, and then you come in here, <coughs> you have to read one of the books in order to, uh, to place, you know, to place them correctly or whatever. You find a vial marked liquid sunset. Yes, I will. <clears throat> you decide, of course. If I drink it, do I get a... What is this? You found an ape man sculpture. Oh, wait. Did I give, did I give up? Maybe you should have waited. Okay, so this looks like a... Okay, so it's a report, and I will take it, of course. <laughs> I'm a proud of... Oh, 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 my God. The proud owner of it. Okay, so this looks like... <coughs> that is it. This room right here. Alright. Alright, so the top room right there is, is next. Alright, so real quick, I will read this Report. Procedural addendum. Is that a word? Addendum. It has come to the good master's attention that a number of acolytes are dabbling in chaos magic. While this isn't forbidden, it is required that you clean up any mess that may result from its chaotic effects. Okay. <coughs> I wonder what Agar was. <coughs> Order of life or death, maybe. Somebody's angry. That's just a crack in the ground. Oh my god. Is that cheese? Oh, it's a coin. Yes, I will. Cool. Oh, there's a paper right there. I have to go on the other side to get though. Oh no, the statue. I know that. There we go. Oh, it's a primitive man. Okay. I do like how you have to look at something just to pick it up, though. I mean, like, it, it might be, um, it might get annoying eventually, but yeah, it's. I have to say, it's pretty cool how you do, how you, how you have to do that. The title of the book is The Book of Orders. Okay, so we are in, uh... This is where Lachmere probably, uh, taught his disciples. Oh, God. <coughs> Lecture notes. I love how they, you know, like, 
So far, I've been really, really impressed with this game. Like I said in my previous video, um, you know, the graphics aren't anything to, you know, I mean, I, 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 I thought, I, blah, blah, blah. I find them appealing, actually. But I'm the type of person that really likes N64 graphics because, I don't know, like, they were just, sure, they're outdated, you know, by a large margin, but, you know, I don't know, it's just, I really like these old graphics. The speeches of Lord Jair. Okay. So he's taught, he's, he was teaching in his class. Apparently. So you can read more of it later. I'm going to read it right now. Go into that room over there, and then... Uh, but most likely, I'm going to probably do uh, 30, 40 minute videos. Most likely 40 for this one, just because uh, I'm like reading and all that. Oh no, I didn't want to do it. Oh my god. Where am I? <clears throat> Alright, so real quick, I'm going to go ahead and read the... The things we just got. Uh, uh, lecture notes. Okay, so let's read these right here first. The lecture was very interesting to control the flood levels. Now, if I can only remember the sequence. Oh god, no. I'm about to write this down, probably. Okay, so there is... Three possible... Combinations. There is right, right, left... Left, right, right, or right, left, right. Okay, so like, kind of like what I was talking about before, actually. Or they give you like a sequence, or you know, or something of that sort. Kind of like with the the statues right there. You know, they kind of just uh, read my mind and did it for me, I guess. You know, they did what I was thinking about. The one created the heavens and the earth, giving birth to the four orders which govern his stead. They are chaos, life, order, and death. All hang in the balance, and none hold sway over any other. For if one of these orders holds sway, the world ends and begins anew. No, oh, I'm not even to pronounce that. The Kuothra, maybe, or fairies, were there, were firstborn. Heedless, carefree, and possessing. Maybe that was why the the uh, the fairy was first, and then like the elf, and then the human, maybe. Heedless, carefree, and possessing no worries. They were weak-minded and saw only their own pleasures. The four orders easily manipulated them, threatening the balance. The one was greatly displeased. The, the one decreed that the four could make war through the Quathra, and thus the world ended, and from the ashes evolved the Johera. Okay, so I was right. More commonly known as Elves. The Johera became the chosen people, and the one was pleased. And I'm half that, so I'm cool. The seasons pass upon the new paradise, and the Johera joyfully administered to the one. Then the great turning began. The collective mind of the Johir was subverted by the Order of Chaos who sought to gain power over his brethren. Okay. The one saw his people corrupted. Okay, I'm screwed. With much disple displeasure, it magnified the power he magnified the power of chaos over the Johir, and the power of the world ended once more. And the madness that followed, the Johir that survived Okay, so there's actually people that Okay. That survived sought production all all of manner of place and all of, in all manner of place. The madness subsided and chaos rejoined his brothers. The Johira emerged from I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right, probably not, from hiding and they were changed. Those who hid on the plains became man. Those okay, so I'm I'm that. Those from caves became doors. Those from the north became barbarians. Those from swamps became fenlings. Whatever that is. Maybe like uh, evil creatures. Thus the races were formed and the one was pleased. Awesome. Like. 
this game, like I, I was, ex I was expecting to be it to be cool, but not this cool. Like this is actually really cool, and I'm surprised this game is not as known. Um, I, I've never really heard anybody talk about it. Oh my god. <clears throat> People of Kalator Land, the evil which has threatened our land is sealed away forever. We are indeed safe. However, I may ask, I ask you to look around. The ravages of war are all about you. Are all about you. All the evil that has been done needs to be set right. Look at the land. The trees and the plants have all withered. The ground is actually. I'm not even sure to write that down. I could keep that. <clears throat> like I keep that. The ground is scorched beneath our feet. For us who have survived, a new battle now begins to secure our future. We have to restore our beloved country. We need to rebuild from the ashes. Since magic has caused much of the blight on this land, it is only right the magic be part of its cleansing. Therefore, I ask that Lechmere open Shadowgate to those that will learn his ways. With guidance, these sorcerers will be called on to build, rebuild and defend Kaltorlin. Editor's note: <laughs> Lechmere the Timeless agreed, and I, oh my god, and dedicated the four towers. He's like, he's pretty much like Yoda and uh, and Obi Wan, pretty much. And dedicate the four towers of Shadowgate to the cause. One for the use of training young sorcerers. One of his many. Oh my god. One as his personal quarters, and one as his testing place for those sorcerers who would serve the royal. Okay, that's cool. One for the training young. Okay, so I'm the one that's you know the training obviously. Um, I'm thinking the one before uh, was was his personal quarters. That's only three though. Right? Training ground, personal quarters, testing place. What was the fourth one? I don't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't, what? I'm Jesus. Okay, so there's two doors right here. As it would seem, they're about the same size, I believe. Alright, so let's go right there. Okay, so this is uh, the, this is where they sleep. My guessing there's no. I guess there's no passageway out of here. Yes, I will. There's another book right there. I really like this music though. This music's really awesome. Like I said before. Okay, uh, I didn't read that was blank. I was not paying attention. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very Skyrim-ish. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, they're kind of placed in the same time, so I guess that kind of does make sense why that's the case, but... Okay, so it looks like this is the only reason why I'm in here is for the flute. What are these for? Rope on the top. Okay, I'm hoping this is all that's in here. I'm pretty sure it's all that's in here. Let me look at this real quick. Okay. Alright, on to the next room now. So we're in another, uh, wow, where am I? Oh, maybe I should have looked at be the beds. Uh, I got stabbed. Personal letter. Yes, I will. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm, I'm have to go back to the uh, the other beds and look and see if there are any letters on there as well, because most likely there are. And here's a book right here. 
The House of Dresselin. This is must this must be where we are right now. Yeah, see look, there's a another personal note right there. All right, guys. So we just go right there. I needed to check on something real quick. There's another book right there as well. Oh, it's a student's diary. Okay. Let me know your deepest darkest secrets. Okay, so we just, we just sneezed and we got a splinter. So this room is. Amazing. Okay, so it appears that uh, these two rooms right here are uh, are the last bit. Like this is uh so something's up right here. Unless there's another room that I didn't really I didn't see or something. It's probably the case. Probably indeed the case. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna look at these beds real quick and see if there's any more letters. Oh. I think it's like the biggest problem with the N64 controller that I have is that uh, moving around you need the C buttons. And it's not like the best thing in the world to move with the uh, with the C buttons. Oh, I got another splinter. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, so real quick I'm going to go ahead and read the the pages real quick. Not what I wanted. Okay, so we have uh, the personal letter. Personal note. I like how they name different things. That's kind of cool. My dear friend, there's nothing I can do for you now. Your pain and suffering, I can do little for. But what I'll, but I will seek out wise, wiser counsel and find out a cure for your ailments. Mark my words, I will cure you. Cure you. Here. All right, I'll read that in a second. Personal note. Dear mother, <laughs> I wish to thank you for sending me here. I think you should be. I think you would be proud of me. The other acolytes are quickly becoming my friends. A real brotherhood. I had to ask you this, but please send me more money. I have lost mine. He's been getting beat up, beat up again. Probably. Month of Aries. SW Day, it was merely a matter of time before the Watchmen discovered our folly. Our nightmare pleasure jaunts were no doubt ill-advised. I always suspected that he knew of our excursions, but a man can only turn a deaf ear so long. Perhaps they will be gracious with us. After all, the trips were merely an occasional diversion. Would they confiscate the key and tell good master of the Lightmare? Month of Aries, W. Day. The good master was gracious. A week of shameful labor could be worse, much worse. I have heard that Nate or that future transgressors will be made to wear the blue ring. It is said that this ring will drive a man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Month of Aries, N. W. Day. It happened on this day that I beheld a darker side of Lackmere. He appeared from nowhere and yelled at me as I went to clean the fireplace. I quickly forgot my chores, and as I sink, slinked away, that night I started to think, isn't it strange that a tower with no chimney should have a fireplace? I realized that such thoughts were dangerous, but I could not help but think that them as the moon rose over the third tower. And I dreamt of a grinning skull wearing a ring of blue that cried out for its brothers of red and green. Interesting. And it, and it, oh my god. And in it, I saw the answers and a voice told me that once you're through with one world, there's no way, there's another waiting there. That is interesting. After the death of the great king Arondi, Aranda, Arond, the succession did not proceed well. With failing health and without an heir, the great king had the presence of a mind to appoint a successor, Lord Jair of the Westland. 
This turned into a favorable decision by commoner and noblemen alike. Jair's leadership and courage, tempered with his upbringing and compassion for the people, rivaled even King Aaron's. However, one family opposed the choice, the Dresselin family. The Dresselins were, were an illustrious family of old lineage that served as chief vessels for generations. Supported by other con oh my God. conservatives who relied more on tradition than the welfare of the kingdom, the Dresselins mounted a political campaign against Jair. More renowned as castle builders than as statesmen, the Dresselins' political gambit failed. In the end, the more extreme factions of the family planned to, planned to assassinate the newly crowned Jair. Their plan was thwarted. Jair, out of mercy and because of his short tenure on the throne, decided to spare them. Thus, the Dresden family holdings and lands were confiscated, but they still retained their duties to the royal throne of Cal Thorlin. Thorlin. Bereft of power, they were still a proud family. And that must be their symbol then. Oh, it's the dragon, okay. So that's why. Okay, so it looks like I'm screwed for a moment. Uh, cause, uh, it would look like... I wonder where the, uh, the fireplace is. But since that is, like, it, like, there's nothing else in here. Oh, maybe the flute summons the door open. I'm actually really curious about that door. Alright guys, so I'm, I'm going to try and open up this door over here with a flute and see if it does anything or not. Or maybe this fox right here. Where's the fox at? Next room over, I'm pretty sure. I have two statues of a coin. I have the liquid sunset, the rope as well. Of course, that's the Dresden family's uh, marker thing. I guess that's the only thing I can really, you know, think. <laughs> can I go back to the other castle, or you know, to the other? Uh, the other tower, I wonder. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is where I came from, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's the way to the other to the other area. I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, it's been 40 minutes, so I, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end it right here, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably have to uh, like uh, you know play ahead of it, uh, just to see what I'm you know to see what I'm doing and all that. Um, I do love this game though. This game is it's uh, it's blowing me away right now. You know the visuals, like I said before, you know they're about average. You know they're not. Uh, you know they came out in 1999, so I guess it's you know a little bit better than what uh, most N64 games usually are. But, uh, thanks for watching, and like and subscribe. This is, you know, just me reading reading backstory and all that. Pretty cool, uh, backstory sections, I guess you could say. But, uh, if you like this video, stay tuned for some more, because I'm, I'm actually really excited to see what, what, uh, what is ahead of Dell, Cottonwood, and, uh, Lackmere and, uh, Agar, and see what happens to the castle. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in part three. Thanks for watching, guys.